Guys, welcome back to this week's video on the Quest. Today, we're gonna to be jumping into a 50 pound mystery box to see exactly what we get inside of it. And at the end, revealing the details of our 250 subscriber giveaway. So be sure to stay to the end and not miss out on this one. Let's go. Yes guys, it's mystery box time again, and I know how much you guys love these videos, they're the most popular ones on the channel, and if they're popular, guess what? I'm gonna keep doing them. But this time I'm gonna keep it a little bit more practical. The ones we've done previously have ranged all the way up to 400, and if you haven't gone to see them, please go and check them out. I'll stick a link above for you guys to go and have a look, because they are great videos. But when you're looking around, 50 pounds a bit more reasonable. So I did manage to pick up a 50 pound mystery box. It did actually come in a box. Obviously this is now not in a box. I've taken it out of the box but I don't know what's actually inside this one. Um, and this is a little bit different. So let's get all the bits out. Again, let's see what bits we get inside. Uh, that's everything, chuck that over there. Okay, so inside we have one, two, three, four parcels and some dice. So let's jump straight in. Again, first things to say, manage expectations. This is a 50 pound mystery box. So let's not get too hyped. There's not going to be graded cards, I'd imagine, in there. There's not going to be vintage booster packs. But the question is, can you get more value in a smaller mystery box than in one of the bigger ones? So the first thing you'll see is you've got the dice. Again, I think these ones might be from Shining Fates. They're brown. They might go with the Eevee one. But again, pretty cool. And you get a couple of the obligatory damage uh, and hit mark uh, counters from the TCG game. I don't know which order to go in, so we'll start off with this parcel. Uh, again, I purchased this one uh, recently. I've got a few others that I obviously want to go through. First thing you get is we have five um, sort of hard top cards. So let's do these one by one. They're all in the Vivid Voltage Pikachu. So the first card we get, oh, okay, let's try that again, is, so we have a Dratini. 2008 Dratini, not sure what's set, but that is a cool looking card. I think it's just one, is it just one per pack? Yep, it is just one per pack. That is a cool card. Not sure I have that one in my collection at the moment, so really glad that's an amazing reverse. I'm not sure if you can pick it up from there. So we'll just stick that one back in. Let me know in the comment section, and if this is the first time on the quest, thanks for taking the time to join us. We're doing the videos each week, uh, and as I said at the beginning, we're now just gone 250, probably at the time of this video, we're at about 264, 263, which is great. And guys, thank you so much. It's you that makes this community, okay? I just make the videos. Uh, you are the guys that make the community. You allow me to do this, um, and I really thank you for it. But if this is the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe and the notifications so you don't miss out when the content is. And our next card is, it is a Houndor 2011. Another cool looking card. This one is not a holographic. Again, if I can find prices for these cards, I will stick them up. Again, the idea of this is that we get as much as our 50 pound back as possible, hopefully with a little bit more on top. So let's see what's in the next one. So this card, this card is a Valplume level 41 reverse. Nice, nice looking card. And this one is in basically mint condition. Wicked looking card. Again, I expected to get things like this, like single sleeved cards, although this has got like three or four on top of it. Um, again, with three into the five, let's see on the next card what we get. It is a Pilotoad, again, reverse, same set, really beautiful looking card. Very, very, very nice. Very, very happy with that, indeed. Okay, so I'm guessing that the next one will be of the same set. So let's see what's in this last card. Our last card is, it is a Crawl, crawl Down, Crawl and Daunt, uh, level 32, again, reverse, 2008 card, really, really nice. And again, what a wicked way to start set. These are, I suppose you could call these sort of semi-vintage, they're 2008, so they are pretty old cards and they're all in amazing condition. Really, really cool, all in top loaders. What a way to start. So, um, I'm gonna do this next. So this has got a few bits going on with it. So I have got a couple of videos coming up soon. I'm gonna be jumping into the Marnie Tournament, Premium Tournament Collection, which you may or may not have seen has been released recently. And of course, very, very soon, we're gonna be going through the Evolving Skies set. And I have my booster box on its way the minute it's gonna be released. Um, and obviously we'll be looking to jump into that. Really hyped. 
cracking mate. Can't get into this. Really hyped to open this set. So said, everyone's waiting for it. I want to pull that Rayquaza. Okay, so we're just going to have to take these out because the these uh, these top loaders are knackered. I'm going to replace them. Okay, so I guess these are back to front. So let's see what's in the first one, and it is it is a Leon trainer card. I'm not sure I've seen this one before. Fairly recent. It's only a year old. And the other one is. Ooh, this one is a cool looking card. I do actually have this, but not a problem to double up. This is a Trainers Peer card, 2021. As I said, I have this card. The centering is very, very good on this one. Really cool looking card. Love trainer cards. I think trainer cards are becoming more and more popular. If you're looking to obviously invest into something, I would say trainer cards are always a good bet. So we have two left. Uh, we'll go through this one first, see what's in this. So again, so far, not too bad. And we do have booster packs. We do have booster packs. So let's see what is in we can pull from these. So we have one Rebel Clash, Darkness Blaze, another Rebel Clash, Darkness Blaze, Rebel Clash, and Darkness Blaze. And I am going to open all of them. So these are some really cool sets. Um, Pretty cool cards inside. So white code card. I think these ones are four. We'll find out in a second. Just bump these over to the side. So let's see what we get. So we have a Steel Energy, a Hat Trim, Cursed Shovel, a Phalanx, Galarian Corsola, Binacle, Scyther, Volaby, Dreepy, a Reverse Binacle, and a Holographic Falapple. Falapple. Sounds a bit like Falapple. Uh, let's do another Rebel Clash. If you can pick up, by the way, um, any booster boxes of the Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze um, sets, this is probably a good time to do it because they're still just about affordable. Rebel Clash is a little bit more expensive. Darkness Ablaze is pretty affordable, but I think these are cards and sets that are going to go up pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so this is the time to do it. So we have a Lightning Energy. We have a Luxo, uh, Drac, Loke, Bronzong, Timpole, Trubbish, uh, Hilipetul, Honage, Litwick, a Reverse Mascarini, and a Full Art Interleon VMAX. What a banger. Beautiful looking card. Don't have that one. Very, very happy with that. Again, I think I've said in the past with the booster packs, obviously we really appreciate getting booster packs, but again, sometimes you don't get anything from them. So it makes a change actually to pull some hits. Because again, up until a few minutes ago, they have a value of a booster pack. As soon as you open them, well, the story can change pretty quickly. So we have a Dark Energy, a Nugget, <laughs> Nugget Trainer, a Stun Tank, Morpeko, Snova, Natu, Trubbish, Pidov, Hit Hilipetil, a Reverse Hatrim, and a regular Unz Pheasant. Okay. Now moving on to Darkness Ablaze. Cool looking set. There's co card. Four from the back. Let's go. So we have a Leaf Energy, a Relicanth, Zuelus, Familiar Bell, Pampor, beautiful, beautiful card with the rainbow. Spinarak, Bond Suite, Dunsparce, Electric, a reverse Kalang, and a regular Drazgolt. All right. Let's see what's in this one. So code card. Again, if you're using a code card, first come, first serve, let me know in the comment section if you do manage to pull anything from the online set. Um, as I said, I don't actually play the online one myself, but if you do pull anything, please let us know what you get. Sinistee, uh, Carablast, Meltan, Marnery, Perloin, a Trainer, Bellowing Smoke, and a Full Art Caesar V card. That is a sick, sick card. Oh, where are my sleeves? Get this one straight in. What a banger. I think most people would love to get that card. Look at that. Caesar Full Art V card. Not too bad so far. One to go. Can we pull one of the big epics? Don't know. Done all right so far. Co card. Four from the back. 
Let's go, last pack. So we have a Steel Energy, Rose Tower, Simi Seer, Larion, Bumblebee, Vanillite, Gothiga, Nickit, Shelmet, a Reverse, Poltergeist, and a regular Wigglytuff. But it's cool, Wigglytuff, one of the base OGs. Very, very cool. And we did manage to get these three. And you know, I'll put these up in sleeves soon, but obviously the scissor will be up put straight into a sleeve. We've got the Interlee on VMAX and the Falapel. Nice, nice. And last but not least is this. And this has, apart from the bin bag that's around it, this has all the trademarks of some sort of binder. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the 25th Pokemon binder. And this is for this year's set. Obviously these hold the oversized cards and you get each of them from the first trainer packs and you do get the Pikachu card to start with. These are quite hard to get the first uh, first starter packs. Um, I've got a few of them. I actually have a couple of these myself. So this is definitely something just to add. Again, we may give this one away, uh, but this obviously has the binder and the oversized card in it. And this is absolutely minty fresh. And I'll tell you what, I know that these are a few quid. Some of these cards were good. Obviously we got uh, the packs as well. So I think all in all, pretty pleased with a 50 pound again. We did run a bit of a risk when we pulled the cards. Of course, we did manage to pull this Caesar V card, but for 50 pound, I'm really happy with that. To get some booster packs, sealed products, 25th anniversary, couple of obviously OG cards in there as well. And we did obviously get these first five reverse cards to start with. Again, really, really, really happy with these. Um, not too bad, I'm super, super happy with all of that. So guys, there you go, it's a £50 mystery box, getting something a little bit different, the lowest one we've done so far, and I'm really happy with what we pulled, getting a couple of booster packs, a couple of bits and bobs, full art training cards, and obviously the Caesar V card, what a beautiful card. And that obviously wraps up the mystery box. However, we were obviously alluding at the start that we have just gone through the 250 subscriber mark and a massive thanks to you and thanks to yourself because you are the guys who make this community. I obviously make the videos, but you're the guys who have got us to this milestone and a huge thanks and I want to do a giveaway for this. And to let you know what the giveaway is, it will be everything that I've just opened up. So this £50 mystery box was for you. Everything that I opened, everything, all the coca, all of it, I'm going to wrap it all up and it will go to one of the winners of the community on the quest. This is my way of saying thank you. Obviously the next milestone is going to be 500 and I hope we get there really, really quick. So I've got some very special things I want to give away for that milestone. But let's not talk about that one. Let's focus on now. As I said, this £50 mystery box was for you. Everything I open, I'm going to be giving it away. The details of the giveaway will be in the link below. There'll be a page you need to go to. Please be sure to follow it and the details will be there. And that's it for this week, guys. Obviously, I'll be back next week with another video and obviously be revealing who was the winner of the giveaway. Uh, and all I can say is all my very best as always. Catch you next week. 